Hi there. In this recording, we are going to learn about creation of a new and free EC2 instance. Here I have listed uh, basic eight steps in that process. We will go one by one. First, we'll log into management console. Then we will launch a free uh, EC2 instance from there. Then we will download a key pair. Uh, we'll follow step by step. Okay, let me first start with the first step here. AWS Management Console login. We have just completed the step number one. We just logged into a AWS management console. From here, you can you can search for the service you want, or you can go to services here and click on EC2. EC2 is under compute category. Click on launch instance. I'm choosing free tier options only. In that I'm selecting only RHL, uh, Red Hat. Only Red Hat 80 is available. So I'm choosing X86. Select. T2.micro is the only one eligible under free tier. Okay, now next configure and instance details. I'm not modifying any one of it. So I'm leaving with the default 10 GB storage for root partition. So under tags, I'm adding it as a name. First EC2 instance. So I'm going to create a new security group and I'm going to name it as first EC2 instance. My first EC2 instances security group. The SSH is open from all sources. It's okay for our lab purpose. If you want, you can open another port. Now review and launch. Now review and launch. I'm clicking on launch. Now this is an important step. Uh, we need a private key to log into this. So I'm giving uh, the name as first EC2 instance, and I'm saying that let's download that pair. It will it will download dot pem file. We have to convert this into dot ppk private key using put agent tool that I will show you the process. Let me first launch the instance. If I click here, you will see the instance launch process. It's currently initializing. And one thing you want to note is uh, the public IP. Let me copy this public IP and paste it here. And we will use it in the future. Public IP. So especially here, ECT hyphen user. So this is in process. We have already downloaded the key pair. Now the next step is we need to download putty and putty gen. So let me go to this location.
putty for 64 bit. The download started. Let me go back and download the putty gen, putty key generator. Once these two downloaded, my next step is to convert this .pem into .ppk. Now let me open Putigen and click on Load. And from the drop down all files, then you will see .pem. Click OK. Now just say Save Private Key. No need to do anything. Just Save Private Key and click Yes. Now what it will do is it will generate .ppk from that .pem. First EC2 instance. Just save. We'll see here EC2 instance saved. .ppk file saved. Close it. So this is also complete. This is also complete. Before we proceed further, let me go ahead and check if this EC2 instance creation is, is completed. You see here the instance state is in running state, so I should be able to connect to this IP address. So let me go to the downloads. For that connection, I need to open Putty, but please note that here I have to use EC2 hyphen user at the rate. I have to give this IP address. I have to give this IP address. The IP address that public IP address of that EC2 instance. But please note that we don't have a password. We know EC2 hyphen user is a user, but what is this guy's password? Since we don't have a password, you have to give that private key. We are telling the system that okay, it's okay to authenticate using private key now it makes sense right why we created dot ppk this dot ppk has authentication details of ec2 hyphen user now i'm clicking yes you see it did not ask for any password it logged in let me change some settings colors appearance It did not ask for any use any password. So EC2 hyphen user logged in with the the dot ppk file. Okay. So if I go back here, now this is also complete. This step, this in process is uh, complete now. What other steps pending? Check the internet connection. So let me see if I am able to ping google.com from here. Okay, the internet connection is working. Completed. Now we need to do some updates, some package updates, just to bring our operating system up to the latest point. So for that, I need to switch to root. This is RHL8. Prior to RHL8, we used to do M update. Now RHL8 introduced a command called DNF, which is just an extension on top of M. So let me run DNF update.
Now it's going to install all the required updates. I'm going to pause my screen. See here the updates completed, right? That actually concludes our EC2 setup. If I quickly recap what we have done, we logged into AWS Management Console. We started one new free EC2 instance, which is a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 with all basic options. Then we downloaded a key pair for authentication from now on whenever you want to log into this ec2 instance you need that private key we downloaded and we converted dot pem to dot ppk then we logged into ec2 instance using the public ip from where you got the public ip you go to ec2 console just highlight it here here you can see public ip now we check the internet connection and we did uh, repository update. We brought operating system to the update uh, to the latest updates. So one word of caution: if you are not using this, uh, you can you can uh, stop or terminate because each runtime is going to be calculated against your billing. That's all for this video. Looking forward to talk to you in the next video.